Hey, hey, Felipe here, and today I want to talk about the case of P. Didi, Puff Daddy, the relation that we have with this case and sustainability. So it will be a very interesting content because it relates to our modern life and how we behave as human beings and how we will need to behave in the future. So as you know, P. Diddy is under arrest. He tried to pay $50 million as a bail to be out of the jail. Many celebrities are into this. Crazy parties going on in the 90s, I think. Most in the 90s. And if we think recently, we had similar cases, right? Harvey Weinstein, Jeffrey Epstein, we have R. Kelly. So in this connected world with media everywhere, cell phones everywhere, it's very easy to get caught. And when we start thinking about companies, we got many issues as well. Since the 90s, we had the problem with Nike and Nike was using child labor to produce their tennis shoes and they needed to redo the entire chain of production due to these issues because it was huge in the 90s this problem. Then in 2010, we had this problem of Gulf of Mexico, right? Deep water horizon made this huge spill of oil on the Gulf of Mexico. They got crazy lawsuits, cleaning costs. So this lack of responsibility and security measures brought this big problem during that time. Then we go to Volkswagen in 2015. They were manipulating tests on these diesel vehicles. 11 million of vehicles were using fraudulent systems and they were emitting much more than actually they were claiming these vehicles emitted. So, of course, they faced billionaire lawsuits and a huge loss of credibility, which will keep impacting them for years to come. Then we go to Shell in 2024. They were claiming they were providing 100% renewable energy in the United Kingdom, and actually they discovered it wasn't coming from renewable energy sources. It was actually coming from the national network. So, of course, it was a big greenwashing campaign, and they were accused to distort this campaign they were doing. And actually, they discovered the opposite. Shell wasn't only not using renewable energy, they were emitting a lot of CO2 in the atmosphere. So we are seeing more and more these greenwashing claims getting caught by the public. And if celebrities are getting caught, companies will also get caught if they are not doing the right things. We have this cherry picking thing in many companies, right? Companies getting the sustainable things they are doing and not talking about the wrong things. So so in this connected world, no one is safe. In this personal level, me, you, and company level as well. So everyone will demand more. The public, the regulations, the standards. So it's important that companies start showing this transparency. What they are doing good, what they are doing bad, how they are improving, and we start positioning ourselves in this way of evolution. Everyone is evolving. There is no space for manipulation, for deceiving without severe your consequences. I hope you have enjoyed this video and if you like this press like and subscribe to the channel and I see you in the next one.